It's the second date update on Mojo in the Morning. All right, second date update. Why are you not getting a call back? Tracy, you're getting ghosted. And by the way, I just uh, was reading this morning that the new thing now is ghost lidded, which is, uh, or ghost, ghost lighted. Lighting. Ghost lighting. Yeah. So ghosting uh, uh, along with gaslighting in the same vein. But is is it kind of like that? Are you getting just ghosted or are you getting gaslit too? Nope, I've never heard of ghost lit. Are you just not getting calls back? Is that what it is? Yeah, um, I mean, also I also I did text him once. I didn't hear back, so I'm I'm just very confused because it was date number two. And Wait, so you, you you guys only have gone on a couple of dates, and you you only texted him one time, and that's it, and that's what we're going off of. Well, look, it was a really good second date. Okay, it was it was casual. We just went to like a outdoor bar patio, you know, had some drinks. Yeah. Um, but did he kiss you, or did you guys do anything at the end of the date when you guys said goodbye to each other? Uh, no. No. Okay. But, but that's not the point. The point is, we got along so well. We clicked. Like I was super comfortable with him. We were kind of like, we were like hanging all over each other without having kissed yet. You know what I mean? And. It, now it now you're not well. getting any kind of response from him about what's going on. Right, and I fully expected to. So that's why I'm reaching out. Can I ask uh, you know all you guys this question? Do you feel like one text is enough or do you think that you can do a second or does that seem desperate to do? Oh, I think I would leave that one. You just do I don't it one? know. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like if he's interested in you enough, he will reply to Absolutely. that one. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Um, Cameron on with uh-huh. us right now. Cameron, are you okay with your voice on the radio? Uh, yeah, I guess. Cameron, say hello to Tracy. Oh, uh, hi, Tracy. Hi, Cameron. Cameron, did you get Tracy's text? Uh, yeah, I did. And so why didn't you respond to it? <sighs> okay, so, um, I mean, the date was going well at first like we were at this patio bar we ordered food and drinks we were just waiting and then you know she starts leaning in and i'm like okay great this is clearly going well she clearly likes me but then she like keeps leaning in and she starts like picking at my back and like before the date like i was already embarrassed because i you know i'd seen in the mirror before i left that i had some back knee you know and she starts like trying to pop my pimple. Oh, my God. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. No. <laughs> We're about to start <laughs> so she was she was uh, leaning over to not touch you in a uh, in a nice way. She was leaning over to pop your pimples. Yeah, she was not doing what I was hoping for. Um, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of funny, though. Don't you think that that's kind of funny that she's doing this? Yeah, first time you it's meet somebody? Disgusting. I mean, I th- come on. Like, I... It was the second time. It was the second oh, time. Okay. So it was the second okay. time okay. that she met. All right. But... Look, guys. Yes. I'm, I'm an esthetician, you know? That's kind of what I do. I... That's normal to me. I just thought... Nope. Yeah, but for no, your no, work. No, I thought we for your work. Comfortable with each other. And I this I I love picking some sun or some sunburns and I I like, you know. Yeah. Tweezing and popping, but not not right when you meet somebody. Believe me, by the in way, public. just so you know that, Miss In public. A- in public. That's what Tra- freaks you out about it. Tracy, the a- the aesthetician, just so you know this, Shannon. She's not an aesthetician. She's an, an aesthetician. She's yeah. An yeah. <laughs> well, that, that too. Tracy, <laughs> Shannon's like notorious for doing this thing, and she can't be judgy on you on this deal. No, but I'm doing it with my, like my. You do it with us. You do it with friends that, and stuff. In private. I don't know. No one was paying attention. So, so you were you were. Uh, You're on a patio, Cameron. You were embarrassed by this, or did it hurt? Yeah, I was embarrassed by this because there was a table right behind us and there's a table right in front of us and it's like you know i could see somebody looking at what she was doing because i mean it's like pinching my back all of a sudden like trying to like reach through the top of my shirt to get a you know a pimple and uh yeah i mean just like keep work at work i understand if you love skincare and stuff but like not 
when we're about to eat. Like have him <laughs> maybe you would you would have come in for an appointment if she wanted you to, right? Yeah, absolutely. I will pay you at a later date when we are not dating because this isn't obviously going to work out. Um, but. Wow. Okay. You know, this is more about your communication style or lack of communication because you could have just said something and I would have stopped. My communication style, your communication style was touching my back. And trying to <laughs> yeah. Without asking me. Hold on a second. As uh, he always does during second date update because he loves this feature so much. Misfit Deshaun is on with us right now. Deshaun, how would you feel if that beautiful lady of yours started popping your pimples while you were on a date with her? Hey, hey, she sound like a winner to me, man. Right? Hey, she popping hey, poppin your pimples, she popping rub your feet. Hell, my wife even shaved my balls before, so I think we good, man. <laughs> so th- 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 that's intimacy right there. That's touching, right? Yes. That's nice. Yes, man. You, you, go back. Hey, you need to give her another chance, man. That's a winner in my book. I like but also, it. some people don't like to be touched. Yeah. You know, they don't want aside to... from the grossness factor of it, some people just don't like to be touched, especially by people they don't know well. Tracy, what do you think the problem is of why he has the back knee going on? Can you, can you give him, like, a professional opinion on that, too? That's so embarrassing. Oh, he probably just needs a back scrubber or something to exfoliate. Okay, so maybe a little exfoliation might be the thing, Cameron, that you might need. How about this? Cameron, what if she did this? Tell me that this wouldn't be hot. If after the date's over with, she said, let's go back to your house and I'm going to exfoliate you in your shower. Maybe if she started with that, but um, she didn't uh, start with that. She started with trying to pick at my back with her fingers that had already okay, okay. had some appetizers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amber, what's going on? It's Mojo in the Morning, second date update. Um, yeah, I just have a quick question. I want to know if she washed her hands before they ate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like pizza or something. <laughs> did you, Tracy? I'm sure I did. Did she, Cameron? <laughs> that, I, I mean, I didn't see her before the date started, but we had already got Oh, this, ha- this happened after dinner. Okay. Yeah. No, the, we, she, she was doing this during dinner. But, like, we were on appetizers, and she was already putting her hands into some nachos. And I did not see any hand sanitizer or trip to the bathroom happen. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> that right. you were paying attention because you're a guy. I definitely went to the restroom and washed my hands. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was uh, like, I would have noticed. I, I do f- say that that is very um, much a pressure-filled thing to date people of certain occupations. Like, I would have a hard time dating a personal trainer. I don't know if I could date somebody that, you know, was a doctor that dealt with, like, weight loss. I don't know if I could date somebody that was this, you know, somebody that deals with skincare and stuff. I am I- married to somebody who do- who works with teeth. Yes, oh, for yeah. sure. It's the hardest thing in the world because, like, I'll be flossing and she'll go, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> And I'll go, what? And she'll show you have to do it like a C. Like a C, Mike. Like a C. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, uh, Tamara? Hi. Hi. I am cringing. I can't believe she did that on a date. And it's like when she says it's something wrong with his communication because he didn't say anything. It's like, what's wrong with your communication that you didn't ask if it was okay? <laughs> she just like, couldn't help herself. <laughs> it's a juicy one. Yeah, like why, why is that okay to do I love popping pimples, too, but I would never do that to someone who didn't say it was okay or that I didn't know very well. Isn't there like something that? therapeutic about oh, popping cool. pimples? Yes. There really the is. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's very satisfying. I will say that it absolutely is, but my goodness, I can't believe she's blaming him and his communication. I also, believe- you had to know. That that was part of the reason you weren't hearing back from him. Yeah, I, I had, had no idea. Know, but that's why he's not calling you back. Like, <laughs> get a clue. Are you serious? You just violated the guy. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I know ninety percent of guys would love to just be touched. They wouldn't even care if they yes, were they doing would. that. If it was that, like, Ser- in that way, yeah, in that way, I'd be fine. Come on, listen. Uh, thank you for the call. You're listening to Mojo in the morning.